So you're saying the uh, the SRO is hitting? The front of the SRO is so, hitting here, preventing it from fully seating. Okay. Pull that out so they can see the configuration. Hold it down so I don't get your uh, your department. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the Blackhawk T-Series. Yep. So it looks like the uh, EDC X9L probably would work, but this particular red dot might be keeping it from uh, locking in place. This Just piece, this piece here was hitting the front of my RMR. So I cut this out with a Dremel, pulled this piece completely out, mm -hmm. cut it, rounded it off. This is what locks yeah. on the breech face for the gun. So, so you're just saying Dremel off out the face. I would cut, I mean, I would if I was gonna get one and try to use this holster, I would just cut this shit out of there. But if it works with a 1911, I've got a 1911. Okay. One of these that maybe you can try. I don't know if... Okay. I, I think I have one for a red dot. The optic kind of, right? Mm -hmm. that, I mean, that's why it's there. They actually come with hoods. I pull the hood off right away. But it's just hitting right here. The yeah. The face of it. So if you bought a little bit of space right here in the bottom... It'd probably lock. It'd probably lock in. All right. We'll get one from Blackhawk, and we'll see if we can't get it to uh, get it to work, so... Between you and I, Blackhawk makes me want to puke, but... I'm not going to edit that shit out. I, <laughs> so. I, I mean, this holster is actually pretty damn good. It's really durable. They thought... They did a lot of thinking on this holster. They really did. Um, when it was recommended to me, uh, I called bullshit. He said he'd send me one cheap. So... All right. I, I got super it. And no, nobody else was making one for the staccato. Yeah. For the uh, DVCP at the time, mm -hmm. and I guess staccato has sole purchasing rights from Blackhawk on this because they're the only sellers or their dealers are okay. the only sellers. So well, I'll see if I can't score one out of somebody. I mean, they did some really smart stuff. Look, I can set the camp on it. Yeah. So this, if you look at it... Is that a Safari Land piece, or is this their no, piece? No, that's all theirs. It looks like Safari. Really durable. Yeah. Hard shell. Um, I've heard good things about the Glock version. They make a level three. This is the level one, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, Hilton Yam just did something on these. Yeah. The only thing I don't like of it for the 1911 stuff is the release for the gun is right here. It's a thumb. So you're underneath then the you thumb gotta, safety, and then as you draw, you have to come on top yeah. to disengage the thumb safety. Obviously, they probably did it like that on purpose because well, some idiot would shoot themselves in the Well, foot. for me, that's actually how I would do it because I holster and draw in the same position. When my gun is going into the holster with a 1911, mm -hmm. I'm riding under the safety and pushing up. So I'm under the safety when I'm holstering the gun. So I when I draw, thing. I do the same thing. I Then I readjust when I pull out. I do. That way my, my draw is the same as my reholster. My reholster, I'm underneath pushing up. But my draw for the Safari Land holsters, and granted, I'm talking... Well, that's different, too. I'm talking different. The thumb release is here, yeah. so I'm driving down in it, and my thumb naturally comes to the yeah. draw point. And, yeah. But these... I, I've been pleasantly surprised considering Black Hawk's previous reputation. Well, I don't think Black Hawk really had a reputation for stuff breaking. So. No, they had a reputation for people I know. shooting themselves. I know. All right, because... I better turn this off because I don't want to edit all this out. <laughs>